So I've been asking some of my friends for advice for this video. As you might well know, I've been on a year abroad and I got back about a month ago. And well, if you're going on a year abroad or you're considering it, I hope this video helps. <laughs> to Europe you're probably gonna get a grant with Erasmus. Woohoo! I mean education and books and <coughs> obvious one here but get your forms done in time it saves you a lot of stress don't do what I did which was just Don't worry, I got the forms done in the end. And also don't forget to check your email when you're away in case your home university still wants to contact you. Oops. If you're travelling, take photocopies of your passport and important documents in case you lose them. You might be able to get money out of a bank with just a photocopy of your passport. Now when you're year abroad, you're going to want to stay in touch with people from home. Whether it be friends, family, boyfriends, girlfriends, make sure you get Skype. But just make sure certain family members know how to use Skype before you go away. Grandad, yeah. do you know how to use Skype? Never heard of it. It's gone. It's gone. Also try and get a foreign SIM card as soon as possible because you can rack up a lot of money on your English phone. I talk so much, I can't believe I talk this much. Who knew I talk this much? I can't believe I talk this much. <laughs> Don't have them. Life's gonna be different out there, weather, food, and especially the culture. And also try not to make negative comparisons to your home country. You're probably gonna get homesick at some point, I know other people did, and I certainly did, but just learn to pick yourself up because you will kick yourself if you don't enjoy your year abroad. <laughs> You might find you won't be able to get certain things when you're there that you can back at home. Try and find out if there's anything you can't get over there and perhaps pack it if you fancy your home comforts. For a lot of people it was cheddar cheese, for me it was bisto gravy. And find out if there's more essential things that you can't get over there, like Tampax girls. This is obviously different in every country though. Remember that medicine is usually more expensive in Europe than it is in England and also that paracetamol has a higher dosage over there than it does in the UK so check it out before you take it. Also remember your hay fever medication so you don't turn out like me in second semester. <coughs> Fashion also tends to be more casual in Europe, which I loved. It was so good. It was very different from uni back here where people make an effort. So I can't decide between hot red or midnight red. <laughs> Abroad, try and accept every social opportunity you get. Pub nights, barbecues, karaoke, anything. Just as long as you don't put yourself in danger. And do remember if your first few weeks there are a bit hectic and stressful, you will eventually settle in. Don't worry, it is just the first few weeks. <laughs> to leaving, check your rent contract ends when you want it to, book your flights early and remember to close your bank account. And then it's time for goodbyes. <laughs> yeah. When you get back, depending on your experience, hopefully good, you will probably miss the place and you might get reverse culture shock. Don't mope about, try and settle back into life and enjoy it. Try not to be, the weather was better on my year abroad. This is the song of my year abroad. I drank water on my year abroad. Because you will bore your friends at home. And finally, check charges on cash machines if you're using UK cards because you don't want to get a nasty surprise. And if you're going to a place that needs them, remember travel adapters because nobody likes to be without their hair straighteners. A useful website if you are going away is thirdyearabroad.com, I'll put a link in the description bar. I wish you the best of luck if you're going on a year abroad, have a fantastic time. And if you're English, get used to the stereotypes and finding out what we're known for according to the rest of the world. Doesn't it rain every day in England? You're English? The Beatles! Harry Potter! Tea and crumpets? If you want any advice that's country specific, you can click on the flags here, and obviously as I went to Germany for a year, my German video is going to be slightly longer and I talk about my experiences there as well. <laughs>